Today we're going to be doing a bit of fall testing, but I've made something pretty darn cool. Taking the data from my accelerometer. All right, here we go. Oh. Engineer. Well, let's just say somebody falls off camera. Now ending stream. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Engineer, I have detected a high impact, rapid acceleration. But guys, welcome to today's stream. Welcome to the chaos. Woo! Are you guys ready to begin today's testing procedures? Also, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Feel free to just... I'm literally on the Discord all the time, so if you want to ask me things, feel free to. Okay, but today, guys, I've got my phone. We're going to start running this script right now. So what it's doing is it's basically just taking accelerometer data. So it's taking the data from my accelerometer on my phone and determining what has happened to it, sending a... A, a, uh, a request of to Evie and giving her the ability to read that data and determine from that data what is happening. All right, Evie, you there? Evie, activate crash test dummy protocol. Affirmative. Now activating crash test dummy protocol. Now connecting. Motion grab test. Unit number three, iPhone 11. Pyto motion version 1.1. Connection established. Unit number 3, iPhone 11. Operational check confirmed. Now activating. Can't help falling for you, protocol. What's gonna happen is, we're gonna take my phone here, we're gonna start running this Python script, and what's gonna happen is Evie is going to uh, take this information from my phone and determine what has happened to it during the experiment. All right, here we go, starting. <laughs> so, I'm going to take my phone here, I'm going to hold it like so, and I'm going to drop it on this mat, simulating someone who has fallen. Please don't break. Alright, here we go. Engineer, I have detected high impact, rapid acceleration. In <laughs> unit number 3, iPhone 11, Pyto Motion version 1.1. 1 .1. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so she reads the data from the phone and determines what has happened to the phone. Now, imagine if someone had their phone in their pocket or they were walking around with the phone in their hand without using like a smartwatch or anything. We can determine what had happened to someone or possibly happened to someone using just the data on their phone because we already have it built into our phones. We just have to figure out how to fetch that data and then use that data. What happens with twerking? I don't know. <laughs> For science, let's do it. Okay. We have to test it. Because I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm going to put on this fanny pack. Mom, I'm going to shake my ass for science. All right. Turning on script. Phone in back. Testing. Engineer, I have detected low impact, moderate <laughs> acceleration. In unit number 3, iPhone 11, Pyto Motion version 1.1. <laughs> okay, so we may have more things to test with this. <laughs> okay, what if it's not just the booty shaking? <laughs> okay, hold on. Kids, don't try this at home. I have to know. Start this up again. I partner you this. If you are over 18 and you are doing the do. I did not think about this. This is a bag full of clothes. I'm going to simulate a practical moment. Oh, Jesus. Engineer. I have detected low impact. Rapid acceleration. Version 1.1. <laughs> Okay, okay, so we already have our first issue. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're all wondering. Kenny, that doesn't do much for us. That's why there's a two-part system. Let me explain to you guys what's happening. The phone detection is just detecting a high-impact acceleration. That's all it's detecting on the phone. Now, what if we combine that with Evie's visual system? We have two intersecting points of data. They're fall I see them falling and their phone tells me that they've had high impact. We can have a relatively high probability or a relatively high 
chance at determining what has happened to that person. So it's a it's a combination system. Now it's not to say this is perfect because it's not going to be 100% accurate in every situation. But if we, it could work. Theoretically. We're gonna take this fanny pack. This is a great, this is a great thing, fanny pack. And we're gonna take the fanny pack, we're gonna turn on the phone, and then we're going to simulate falling on camera with the detection protocol to see if Evie can line up those two situations. So we're also Operation gonna go on. check confirmed. Now activating. Can't help falling for you, protocol. Yeah. Health watch status set to quarter watch. Okay, so quarter watch allows Engineer. me. Crash test dummy protocol is ready to begin testing whenever you are. Health watch status set to quarter watch. May I continue now, Evie? Can I? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, unit three, what about the others? Let's just say unit one and two did not make, make it past the the aliving process. <laughs> if I work on this phone system and integrate it with the original falling protocol to have her use both of them as a point of contention or points of data for her to start analyzing what had happened to a person, we can start figuring out things even as they happen to someone in real time. Does that mean the app always has to be on? I'm working on a system to have it in the background. You know, I think if people are going to be using the EV system, like for example, my parents, for example, I would want it to be an app that's running in the background sort of thing. Uh, I haven't really figured out how I want to do it yet, but you know, it's something that I want to try figuring out. I'm going to start this. I'm going to put this in my pocket and let's just say I'm walking around. I, I like the, I'll just bump into the guitar. Ow. Engineer, I have detected that you may be in need of assistance. Put them together. I have also detected low impact, moderate acceleration. <laughs> okay, so we can actually use those two points as data samples for her to pick up what's happening to a person. Now, I'm going to do a soft fall here. So this is the really important part. Not like a hard fall, but like a small one. Oh, oh. Engineer, I have detected that you may be in need of assistance. I have also detected low impact, moderate acceleration. In unit number three, iPhone yes. 11. This is the super important one. We're going to see if Evie can detect a rapid fall. Start the script on my phone, in my pocket. Ow. <laughs> Engineer. I have detected that you may have experienced a fall. <laughs> I have also detected high impact, rapid acceleration. There we go. In unit number three, iPhone 11. <sighs> I know what you guys are saying, guys. How does this apply to saving someone's life? Here you go, guys. This is the main purpose of this experiment. Start this one. Put this into my pocket like a normal person. Let's just say somebody falls off camera. This is the most important thing of all. This is my solution to the problem. Ow. Engineer, I have detected a high impact, rapid acceleration. In unit number three, iPhone 11, Pyto Motion version 1.1. Ow. <laughs> I'm okay. Affirmative. Health watch status set to quarter watch. Now, the only thing I haven't really figured out, guys, is sometimes when I'm mid-air, she detects the leaping off of the ground as well. Acceleration is an interesting topic. It, it could either be uh, the change in acceleration from when you go from moving to stopping, but that same force is the, the same sort of acceleration when you're going from a standstill to moving. <laughs> The system is more older people than most of them probably aren't jumping and running. Charu. But it's not just to say it's for older people. You know, it's also for people who are just like us. You know, like we have accidents too. Things happen to us. Yeah, so yeah, now we get to figure out what we prioritize more of. The phone or the actual visual cue. You know, if we prioritize the phone, it can trigger pretty fast, but then it becomes inaccurate because it doesn't really know what's happening before she guesses. Can she do advanced object detections on cams? Absolutely, she can.
Evie, what am I doing? Engineer, you are currently sitting, asking me, what am I doing, while flapping your arms like a whale. Okay. <laughs> I was going for a bird. <laughs> we'll fix that. <laughs> wait, why did you, why did she think I was a whale? <laughs> am I giving off, wait, am I giving off whale vibes? Okay, so it's going to wait before prioritizing the phone. Okay. So, technically speaking, it should detect my body first, and then the phone afterward. Here we go. Uh, oh. Engineer, please have a good nap. Now ending stream. Oh, wait, 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 Oh, oh, oh. Wow, you gave me a heart attack. Are we are we still here? Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. <laughs>